This is Ken Pyle and we're at CES 2014, CES Unveiled, where all the neat stuff is. And we're here with Kevin Marr of Lowe's. You're showing something, in, a new product that'll come out in 2014 that'll uh, really help people who have leaky water pipes, right? Absolutely, yes. We've been, we, we, we're aware of that, that the biggest, the biggest losses in the home when you have uh, uh, in, in, insurance losses are around fire and flood, not actually theft. And so we're looking at a ways in which we can make sensors smarter to be able to detect flooding in the home. Today we've got little leak detectors, which in the event that they detect a, a leak, they alert you. But this year we've launched a control valve that you can actually now fit to your home. So if the leak detector picks up um, and senses water, we can automatically shut off your water supply. The better still though than an, a leak detector is the problem with leak detectors is where do you place them? Mm -hmm. You know, where's the leak going to happen? Well, if we knew that, we could, we could stop it. What we're launching, what we're, we're developing now with a partner is a flow valve. So clamp it around the outside of a pipe and we're able to, to monitor the flow of water through the pipe. Actually, it will work with gas as well. And so we can detect flow and therefore potentially detect leaks. So for example, if you're not at home and your house is using water, what's happening? You know, um, and so you'll be able to program your house that in the event of a rate above, a flow rate above a set level, automatically shut off the water supply. So you can get an idea of a drip versus a real flow. You'll start to learn that. Once you fit one of these, you'll begin to watch your consumption. I'm sure everybody will go around and do what they did when they first got electricity monitoring. You just have a look and you suddenly realize that with everything switched off, you're using electricity. Right. And then you realize how much all these other devices are using. Well, that, there's a little bit of that with water as well. And uh, you'll be able to spot that, but you'll start to understand that that's my minimum. Absolute, there's this little trickle. That I'll, I can't work out what it is, which system it is. That's not a problem. I know that's not a problem because it's been there all the time. But if it goes above that, then I've got a problem. Cut off the supply. Now, do you anticipate this as kind of a do-it-yourself project or? Willows, we're DIY home improvement. <laughs> so, uh, do you anticipate that perhaps water companies or you know might encourage uh, people to put these things in? Oh yes, in the spring we're we're, we're running a big campaign to start encouraging. Um, we can currently monitor electricity usage in the home, give you a lot of advice on how to save energy and so forth. We're looking to do the exact same for water and gas. So in the case of the water flow valve and the water sensors and the shut off valves, we'll start to be able to give you advice about consuming. In the spring we'll launch garden irrigation. So we can control your, your, your irrigation systems remotely, program them, stop them going on when it's raining outside. Nice. Nice, and that uh, it can be used uh, obviously for commercial application too, I suppose. Yes, it could. Absolutely it could. Well, it seems like uh, you're layering on many more capabilities to what you started a couple of years ago. And, and, and I guess, can you start this? Do you need to have the premium package or is it uh, something, again, where you can kind of just buy the device? And stuff? No, you can just buy the device. All basic services from, from Lowe's and from Iris, our, our basic levels are free. So if you buy the shut-off valve and the leak, det and the leak detector, if the leak detector detects a leak, it will automatically shut off the, the valve. Um, if, you, if you want to control it, switch it on and off yourself remotely, that's your choice. And uh, I imagine just one leak prevented probably pays for this. Oh, absolutely it does, and that's why partnerships with companies like State Farm are so material to, to what we're doing. We're starting to find ways in which we reduce the homeowner's real risk. Okay. So in the way that um, we're using Iris to start doing for the home what telematics are doing for cars. Monitoring the home, monitoring the use of the car through telematics allows insurance companies to give you discount, uh, increased discount because they can recognize you're a safer driver. If you have these technologies in the home and they recognize that you're of lower risk, we believe over time that they'll give you insurance discount for that. Well, Kevin, that makes a lot of sense, and I appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you.